What's good, y'all? And welcome to my review for this week's episode of Persona 5 Animation. And this episode was good. I did enjoy it. But, like, well, this episode did focus on use case confidant, like I predicted it in last, but there's also this other side plot with the cat she taking those criminals that I'm pretty sure was, that I know that was anime original. And it kind of just felt shoved in there, kind of pointless just to fill out time because. I mean, I do love Yusuke, he's a great character, and his, his confidant wasn't all that. I, I would have preferred they focus on maybe, um, you know, uh, both, um, let's say, um, Yusuke and, I don't know, Makoto's confidant. You know, the combined two instead of just, you know, Yusuke. Even then, they didn't really, they did get the major beats down of what happened in Yusuke, but there's, like, some moments that I, that I liked that they kind of just either glossed or just straight up skipped. Like, uh, I'll get to those parts when I get to those parts. But, yeah, like I said, this episode was good. I really enjoyed it, but this will probably end up being, like, my least favorite episode of the whole series. Just because this episode kind of feels pointless. I mean, when we had, like, you know, what happened with, like, you know, Ryuji and, Mark, and um, and, uh, uh, Kawakami. That was really good, because Ryuji's confidant is actually really damn good. And, plus, and Kawakami's confidant in there was, was a nice little added touch. Yusuke can, you can't really make a whole episode just based off of Yusuke with, like, some side plot with catchy. I mean, sure, the fangirls will probably have because, like, you know, yay, it's like, more catchy, but... You know? Anyway, so let's begin. So we're starting off with um, these two pol 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 uh, politicians getting arrested for murders or some other shit. And then, you know, they get to this talk show where we see Akechi and we see um, Akira, you know, eating curry. And we got Sojo playing a game of chess by himself. I mean, is that kind of boring playing chess by yourself? Because, like... Yeah, whatever. I, I don't play chess. I, I don't know the first thing about chess, but whatever. So Ketchy ends up, uh, ends up coming into the cafe, and Sojo's like, wait, wait, how are you here and there? And it's like, oh, that was pre-recorded. And so he has him, like, you know, ask for some coffee. And then him and, the, and the Akira man end, end up playing a game of chess together. Um, Akira's like, no, wait, I don't know the rules. He's like, oh, don't worry, you'll catch up pretty quickly. And when I was watching that play this game of chess throughout the episode, I was sorry, it reminded me of that scene in Death Note. You guys know in Death Note when uh, Light Yagami... Uh, goes has a tennis match with L, and you know how he just went like you know, and throughout the whole match, L like Light is having an internal struggle with him whether or not, whether if he wins or loses, end up tell ends up like you know, show and telling L that oh yeah I am Kira, like I don't know if Kira was thinking that far ahead and he was having that in his mind. Sorry about that. That was my reminder going off that should not be starting right now. So yeah. Anyway, so. Um, so, you know, like, I, don't, like, I thought that was a thing, but I kind of just got the little vibe, like, it kind of just reminded me of that scene that happened in Death Note. Anyway, so, he ends up asking Akira, hey, man, can you help me out with this case I'm working on to take down these, uh, these, like, corrupt infill- I forget what the exact crime was, maybe it was, like, tax evasion or something. Anyway, and so, after that, we end up going to a catch, uh, to, uh, Mishima, he's, like, you know, gushing, but like, yo, yeah, man, the fan, the fan side, it's popping, my brother, it's popping up in here, there's a big win, it's gonna be coming, you know, it's great, don't worry, I filter out the, the stupid shit comments, but I got you, my dude, like, you know, Machine was like, he was gushing about the website, Ryuji site, and then we see, um, and then, you know, on and the others, like, hey, why don't we head over there, okay, and Akira's like, you know, nah, man, I got some plans, and then Yusuke's like, you know, I got some plans, so they end up leaving, and Morgana ends up jumping from Akira's bag to on, <laughs> like, when he said, like, you know, why don't we head up, like, there was this cat street, I think they were going to, like, a cat cafe, or and Morgana's like, yeah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And so anyway, after that, we end up seeing, you know, and then we see, uh, we then get to the main bulk of the episode, which was, of course, a, 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 a Yusuke's confidant. We see that, we find out that Yusuke has been in, in a sort of slump. As in, like, like, he, like he's, like, kind of lost, he's kind of, like, lost his creative juices. He can't really paint any real thing because he, like, doesn't really have the creative juice. So he ends up asking Kira to be his bodyguard where they head over to the metaverse to, you know, try to get maybe those creative juices, those gears um, running again in uh, Yusuke's head for him to continue to paint. So he doesn't lose his uh, scholarship. So him going to the metaverse, he's like, yes. And they go to, like, and they find this portal where you know that uh, Morgana used to go through to get to another part of the metaverse. And he's like, yes. Desire. Distortion. Yes. 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 And it's a painting. What did I say? That painting that Yusuke paints, like, both the paintings Yusuke and the painting that we see in the game are real damn good. I would put those fuckers up on my fucking wall. I wonder if those actually, like, any, like, those actually exist. Like, I'm sure some painter that's a fan person has, only re has already made replicas and probably selling them on eBay or something. But I would say, those paintings, whew, those are really damn good paintings, if I have to say something to that. And I'm not one for art. I'm, I'm not really an art type of person, but Yusuke's painting, whew, I want, I want those on my wall. 
And so, you know, he's confident with it, but then this uh, art trick shows, and then pretty much just shits all over it. It's like, oh, it's mediocre. It's empty. Look at it. I mean, yuck. And, you know, he tells, like, you know, and then he ends up uh, showing him his business card. He figures out he's Yusuke, or maybe he already knew it was Yusuke, and he was just... We found out why he was kind of being a little, uh, probably being a little critical, a little, probably being a little harsh to Yusuke around the end of the episode. But, anyway. So, uh, he ends up having his business card. They have, like, you know, a sushi dinner. Uh, he has to take him to sushi, and he like you know tells him like you know oh man I've been having my eye on you for a while. I want you to put, I want you to be part of my company. He works that he work. He has like this um art firm, pretty much helping out uh, you know young aspiring artists. You know give them the funds they need, studio so that they don't really have any other burdens besides creating their art. And Yusuke ends up declining, and uh, like he actually feels kind of offended because. Um, they, the way they worded it previously, like, they were going to profit off him because, like, you know, say, Madarame, uh, but Yusuke, as we know, Yusuke ain't like Madarame, so he's, like, this client because he doesn't want, I, I guess he doesn't really want to profit off his work, he kind of just wants to do it just out of passion, he doesn't really want to make a living off of being an artist, I, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm, like, if I'm misunderstanding what Yusuke is, maybe he does, because, I mean, I, we all know he doesn't want to be paired, but I don't know if he actually wants to profit off it, like, you know, be like, uh, like, you know, someone that sells his art off, or just does it just for... Just because he feels it, just because he just does it for the passion, not so much for profits. And so, you know, after that, they end up leaving. He tells me, you know, if you change your mind, you know, come back to us. And then throughout the rest of the episode, we see him, we see Yusuke and him, as well as Akira, or uh, Akechi. Because we saw see Akechi, he's like, you know, trying to gather inf uh, evidence on, you know, this crook, on this crime that's like, I, I, I forget the exact crimes. Um... On um, what you know about this crook, uh, so he's just trying to get uh, at, uh, evidence on them, and Akira is helping him out. And so, through the episode, we kind of like have this back and forth, back and forth between Akatsuki trying to gather evidence, evidence, and you know uh, Yusuke tr different trying different methods, different places to you know uh, inspire him more and more and more, so that he can finally you know make a painting worth this man's time, I guess you would say, or ones that like where he's like, yes, yeah, finally I'm out of the slump, trying to get out of the slump. And now this is the part where I have a problem with. They like they like have this one scene where they're on a boat, Akechi, uh, Akira and, and Yusuke, and you know he's painting. But in the game, it was actually this real funny moment where actually he was trying to paint this couple, and then they had like a huge conf like they had a convo. But it was really hilarious in the game. And there was another moment in, in Yusuke's confidant where they actually went back to Madarami's place, and we had like a little moment there about you know with Yusuke talking about you know living there. And that was completely cut out. Which I am kind of disappointed because I was probably a good part of Grant. I don't really remember much of that part. I just remember it. And I know that it was actually pretty good. I remember enjoying it. But the game, but the anime is just completely cutting out. And actually just, like, pretty much just gloss over that one hilarious part of when Yusuke was uh, trying to draw that couple. And kind of tells like, you know, he's, he's a slum. I forget, like, look it up on YouTube or play, or look it up on YouTube. It's hilarious. I love that part of, of Yusuke's confidant. And so, you know, later on, we see On, uh, Yusuke, and the rest of the crew, they're just talking, and, like, you know, he's telling stuff. On ends up talking about him, like, you know, about uh, the Sayuri, he tells, like, you know, about how, it, how the Sayuri's made people very, uh, feel very different emotions, blah, 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 blah. And so uh, Yusuke ends up going back to the metaverse, where he realizes about it, like, you know, what is the heart, human heart? And what is, it's the soul, but what is the, like, what is soul? Like, you know, and, like, you know, it's like, you know the, the, how the soul, you it makes you feel hope, loneliness, um, empathy. I forget the exact amount. I got to, I, this is like some, like, this is an artist that I don't understand, because like I said, I'm not an artist. I'm a YouTuber over here. I talk about anime and video games and movies. I'm not one of those, like, philosophical people that are like, oh, yes, what is the meaning of life? See, <laughs> like, no, no. Anyway. So, he has to go in there and ends up painting something. And there's also this whole lot of hilarious moments where we actually also see uh, the Shoji player. We go to this church, actually, later on, like, throughout the episode. Where I was like, oh, cool, we're going to the church. So maybe we're going to be seeing some of the Shoji Rose kind of play. But we actually just see her behind the door of the church opening. Kind of, she just kind of, like, peeks out there and then closes it. So, I like, this is, like, the second time she's made an appearance. But they still have yet to show us any of her confidant. Now, if they're just skipping her completely, it's not really much lost to me. Because, well, I think, well, she is a kind of a nice character and I did enjoy her. Her confidant was not one of my personal favorites. So, if it ends up being completely skipped, I ain't gonna sleep over it. So, but I'm just gonna say, the art in this episode was bad in a couple parts. Like, when uh, when Akechi, like, when Akechi first showed up and asked for the coffee and they were having the chess match with Akira, the art did look bad in that part. And a few other parts of the episode where the art did look bad, and I'm like, come, I'm like, at this time, like, come on, A1, up your game. I know y'all can do much better than this shit. 
Look, I've seen you all do your best with Sora Online, Fate Apocrypha, and I guess that was in the first, but I feel like that's more of a trigger show. That, I feel like triggers are most heavy lifting with that show, and A1's more or less just doing budgetary, maybe helping out with like story and, and other things. I'm not really sure what, what uh, how much A1's involvement was, because it feels more like a trigger show than anything else. But yeah, I've seen y'all do much better than this when it comes to on animation. Why are y'all slacking on Persona? <laughs> so, anyway. And so then, the end of the episode, he ends up creating another painting called Desire and Hope, uh, which is another painting that's fucking fantastic. I would so put it up on my wall. And you know the painting, then the dude sees it again, he's like, yes. Ah, oh, yes. And we find out the reason why he was kind of being hard on Yusuke was just to, like, you know, encourage him. Trying to get, like, you know, trying to get him up, trying to get rile him up so that he can create a better painting and, you know, get out of this slump. He manages to go to the offers his offer again, this time removes, like, the marketing shit, but he still directs with his clients. He's like, you know, he kind of wants to do everything on his own two feet. He doesn't really want other people uh, backing him up. Besides, against his friends, but he doesn't like want a major corporation backing him, but he wants to do everything so. So, you know, that's where the episode ends, and then we see a catchy, like, you know, like, find the guy, and then, like, it, the way it's played out, it, like, it reminds me, like, some, oh, like, it almost kind of reminded me of Lupin the Third. Like, you know, we got the spotlight, he's holding evidence, he's like, oh, it's, like, it kind of got me, gave me a bit of a Lupin-esque edge to it, you know, or, like, some anime that was probably made for, like, the 40s or something, maybe it's, like, maybe it plays out, like, an episode of Case Closed or something. I don't personally watch Case Closed, or I should say Detective Conan, but, yeah, kind of played out in that kind of similar way, but, yeah. That whole part just seemed pointless to me, other just to, like, you know, fill out time. So, you know, he ends up thanking Akira for his, uh, for his, you know, uh, for his help on the case. He actually ends up asking these guys, uh, who, if he knew these companies were, but the guy that actually was with this, uh, art, um, art, um, CEO, he actually was the one behind all this shit, and so he ended up getting nervous because Akira knew these names. So he thanks them, tells them, like, you know, and then when they play again, another game of chess, he has to look at hey man, will you become my assistant? He doesn't, he says no, and they kind of, then Akira ends up beating him in this game of chess. At least, I think he beats him. I think Akira beats the catch. I'm not too sure. Like, I don't know, I don't know fuck all about trust. So yeah, overall, I give this episode a 7 out of 10. Like I said, it was good. I enjoyed the parts about Yusuke, but they just kind of, like, you know, it kind of just, like, you know, breathed through his confidence. Like, they didn't, like, I feel like there were, like, some moments in the con Yusuke come that I really enjoyed that I would have liked to see get more focus. They did give out the major beats they need to give, and like I said, the catchy stuff just felt pointless, tacked on, slapped together. It felt like filler. Hell, it probably what it was, filler, because they probably, because... I don't know, I feel like they should have, instead of doing the catchy stuff, they should have just filled it up with, like, another confidant. Like, maybe, I don't know, put Oz confidant in there, because, like, well, her card wasn't really that great. The stuff was with the stuff with um, Shiho. That stuff was good. That's when Oz's uh, uh, confidence really took off. Was when Shiho was in there. That's where it made it interesting for me. But yeah, um, next week looks like they're going to go back to the normal story. I think next up is actually Futaba. So we might be seeing a little bit of Futaba. We probably won't see it for a couple more episodes, or maybe they might be just focusing on Makoto's confidant. I'm not really sure. But hey, we'll find out when we find out next week. So yeah. So if you guys enjoyed the video, leave a like if you did, subscribe if you're new, follow me on Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, links are below. As always, come back for more. See you guys next time. If you guys see me, I'm going to go watch Tsunami. See you guys next time.